Only two clubs in the top six tiers of English football haven't won a match yet this season. Sheffield United and Sheffield Wednesday. This is the city that gave the world football. They're just really bad at it. How does it feel to be a Sheffield Wednesday fan? I think we have a beautiful history, a rich history. I'm proud to be a Wednesday fan. Maybe not this season as much. Who is to blame for the situation that Sheffield Wednesday are in? Um, mainly Chancery. Who is Chancery? Chancery is a businessman. Chancery took full control over Sheffield Wednesday in 2015 and set a goal to be in the Premier League in 2017. But in 2020, they were found guilty of EFL spending rules, which meant they spent the next season on minus six points and were relegated from the second tier to the third tier. A very exciting promotion got them back to the second tier, but in the first 13 matches, they have picked up the least amount of points in championship history. Fans at Sheffield Wednesday have protested. Chan Seabree's response to these protests was to announce he won't invest any more money in the club. If you were in a room with Chan Seabree, what would you say to him? I'd just ask him to sell the club, to be honest. Uh, just, you know, because he can't run the football club very well. He's, he's made it very obvious that he's quite childish. You know, I'm just sick of him, to be honest. I'd rather get anyone else in the world, just someone that can run a club properly. The fans will need to part way with £2 million before November 10th or the next three transfer windows, they won't be able to sign any players. This is Chan Siri's words. If 20,000 people gave £100, then it's £2 million. The Owls chairman has sought to tell fans who have described him as a custodian only that this is their chance to save their club in his remarkable call for fans who say they are the owner. This is so passive aggressive. Are you sure this guy's not British? It's like when you're in a mood with your mum, but then you actually remember that you haven't got any money so you just need to get some offer. So you've got to do it in a roundabout way that shows that you're still in the mood, but you could really do with that money. We're dealing with a multi-million pound business here. We're not dealing with your mum and some sweets. The situation that Sheffield Wednesday are in, would that ever tempt you to support a new club? No, no, I'd never support a new club. I've been support Wednesday for the past, what, 10 years of my life, pretty much, ever since I really got into football. So I've never really known anything different. But even if we end up going to non-league, you can't, you can't, you can't lose that that love you have for your one club. Really, I think. Now I bought a single match ticket, of course. If I wanted an adult season ticket in the seat that I'll be sat today, it would cost me £825. 19 of the 20 Premier League clubs offer a cheaper alternative. With that £825, you do get 24 home matches. And if you're really, really lucky, you might even get yourself one goal. I'm not lying to you, you've scored a goal. I know, it was one of them where you just like, what I said pre-match, we just needed a goal from anything, just a tap in, and I was willing to, I was like, just hit it, just hit it, and he just got that slightest of touch, and it had to be that man, uh, Michael Smith, ex Rotherham, absolutely buzzing, so it's a good start. You'd never been to a Sheffield Wednesday game. You'd think they were absolutely brilliant. I'm not kidding. You've scored two. I know. 
just miss a chance just before we win us. I thought it's going to come back and bite us and then uh, that man again Smith so that's one goal in September yeah. two <laughs> goals in I October for a bus and the two come along at once are you thinking hang on we might be able to survive this season yeah. You've got a two-goal buffer now. If we chuck it away, uh, we need this win. Hopefully now it kicks on a season. I mean, Hillsborough today is absolutely unbelievable. That air's on the back of my neck, just unbelievable. Come on Wednesday. Even at 2-0, with less than 30 minutes to go, Rotherham had barely had a chance. The atmosphere was so quiet and tense, almost like something's going to go wrong, something's got to go wrong. but it didn't. Full time, Sheffield Wednesday 2, Rotherham 0. And it's at this point it feels really appropriate to teach my overseas viewers a little bit about English football culture. We do this thing at full time where the home team and the away team wave at each other in a jolly good way. It's a gesture of goodwill amongst men and women and a symbol of respect. We're a really lovely nation and think it's important to say goodbye to our fellow football fans at the end of a good match. We will even wave when there's nobody there. And if you're really, really lucky, we might show you our favorite fingers. Most depressing football club in English football, not any not well. Well. 90 minutes of football can wash away a lot of blood, but it cannot fix the cut. Are you, uh, has anyone been eyeing up the deliciousness of this shirt, by the way? This shirt is an Ezra FC shirt, and it was sent to me by Sangalo. In the last video, I showed you another shirt they sent me, Highlanders FC, the oldest club in Zimbabwe. Ezra FC are from Laos, which is Southeast Asia. These are shirts that essentially you would never otherwise be able to buy if it wasn't for the fact that Sangalo sell them on their site. They sell the official jerseys from these clubs. Yeah, it's a gorgeous shirt as well. The blue is lovely. I really like the sponsor too. A link in the description if you want to check out all the shirts on Sangalo. This is not the first video where someone has had to call out the EFL and their fit and proper test. We need to stop allowing owners who promise the world when they know full well they do not have a clue if they'll be able to fulfill it. And they also know that when they don't fulfill it, they're not willing to be here to stick around in the bad times and make sure that their unsuccessful ambitions don't destroy the club. You may laugh at Sheffield Wednesday today, but it could be you next week.